Hey there guys, in this tutorial we're going to cover how to use LOD ATC. So when we open LOD ATC, we wait a few moments and it will come up and we get a screen that looks a little bit like this. We have our connect, our options, our news, display online help, information, zoom out, zoom in, ignore or exit full screen, on top, lock our map scale or move, our tactical view which is this, what our units are in, true or imperial, if we click on this we can change to magnetic, true, and our scale, so metric or imperial. We have these little tabs which may be docked, which allow us to change some options. For the most part they're not overly important so we can actually go make this a tab and it'll go up here we have our draw box now when we connect to the server we tap the connect button up here and we get the options these are normally saved the big one is that your address is right your coalition's right and that the password and your pseudo name is right so the password on tgw server is fairly easy um, just read the stuff if you don't have anything but I'll give you a hint it's right here. Uh, the pseudo is what you appear to in any chat messages and should rec reflect what position you're in so if I'm on I take over Wedgetail which is kind of the global op position. Um, if you're on AWAC you'd probably want to be or GCI you'd probably want to change this to Bundy1 or something like that. When we connect, we get a few extra options. So one, we immediately get the current picture as being fed by all our AWACs. We get the objects list, which we can expand out. This is every object we can see, which makes it nice and easy if we need to work out some stuff, as well as their threat ranges and all that fun stuff. So this is just a t wealth of information and their type and stuff like that so you can actually and you can actually filter this so if you want just uh, say dark star so which is D star you can filter and then you could select him in here and double clicking will bring you across to him and it'll center your view on him comes in handy if you need to quickly find a unit The other one is if you load in and things look like this, then you can load in the overlay. So the overlay will be available with a link, but you go into the draw menu and bring it up like this. Edit mode, actions, load from file, and you find the file. In my case, it's saved up here in my DCS saved game folder so DCS and it's this ri war.json file we hit OK and we get the overlay then we can if we needed to add anything on here we've got actions for drawing but I will cover those in a later uh, tutorial it gets fairly complex so with the overlay on we can see we've got the north cap the east cap the west cap the coalition enforced no-fly zones and friendly airspace or green airspace anything else typically means that it's either Russia or the like so we can see we've also got this bra list now if this isn't showing up a good thing to do is to come up into this options and you disconnect and restore docked and default weapons position just here or actually you can do it while you're actually clicked and what it should do is bring all these back to where they're meant to be. But this is a very important one. This saves you a lot of time and effort. So one of the, one of the main things about LOD ATC is that we can get bearing and distances, which is what we're doing. We're feeding data to as a GCI to our airborne units. We're letting them know the situation, giving them better SA. 
So we draw the lines out and we can go, you know, contact bulls 290 for 40 or the like. But there's times where we want to be able to do, uh, to keep track of where they are or we want to be able to quickly glance and get the information on a contact for them. So for this example, we're going to presume that uh, escort 21 down here is our target so the other thing is we can if uh, if these are actually all bundled up and a pain in the butt to read if you shift click on them you can move them around which comes in handy but we're going to presume that yeah escort 21 over here is the one that we want to Act as GCI for, so we need to know his position from bullseye. If we hold down control, right click on the bullseye, and run it out to the escort 2-1. Okay, we got Arco. It'll do, same thing. I probably should have zoomed in and got a little bit of separation here, but we immediately get this. And we can see the best course for intercept, if we need it. Our bra. which in this case is their picture from Bullseye. So it's saying from Bullseye to target, which is ARC. And it's giving us the unit that they're in and the mode. So T is for true and the like. The other one we can do is we can come over to the options here and we can go show bra text. And this gives us the text just here on the line. So let's say for example we were going to we needed to we were running an intercept and we needed escort here to know exactly for this target up here. As we can see here, so escort to target number TN4049. The bra is 293T at 53 nautical miles. And there's his angels, and he's currently cold. And there's not a decent interception angle on him at the moment. And then we can cycle all those different options. If you want to delete any of these, we just go, just click on it, delete, click on it, delete. The other one, so the next little bit we've got is to help our lives when it comes to identifying things a little bit better. We have the selection properties options. So if we know what a friendly target is and it's not showing up as prop properly so for example our escorts here are showing up as unknowns we can say that they're fighters and this will change so that we can quickly make out what we need we know our warrior flights which should be around here somewhere doesn't look like we've got any up at the moment Uh, there we go. We know these are basically general civilian flights, so we can make them what they are. And then, for example, let's say we know that something's a bandit. We can set him as a bandit, or we can set him as hostile, um, depending on what we need. Or if it's gone zombie, if it's unknown, if it's pending because we're not certain what it is etc etc the and that covers for the most part everything you'll need the only other one is in the case that somebody's not on SRS you can actually come in and chat so normally I'd make this a dialog box or something like that and we can send text so
and that would come there out on the text in DCS's high there from Wedgetail. And we can send to all or the like. We can get a general weather view and we can see the description for the mission on the weather panel here. Gives an overall but with the dynamic weather we run this isn't exactly that useful other than forgetting the temperature. Um, and of course the final one is if we click on an airbase we can get its information. We can open a chart view for that airfield along with any charts that are available. Cobaletti's only got the runway one. And we can take approach. When we take approach we get the distance and our runway lines and the option to look at the glide slope information and any nearby units as you see here if something was landing we could monitor its approach and so we can be a precision approach controller if we need to Anyway, that covers the majority of LOD ATC, uh, except for drawing. I hope this has been helpful.